Today we will be taking a look at the G56 5.7 in the Italian line as per request. And the game is a bit uneventful at this point. I've been flying around for about 7 minutes now. Everyone seems to be on the deck but at the same time I can't really find anyone. And I'm getting a bit bored so I just decide to, uh, to dive in because I do want my kills. I'm not going to waste my whole game uh, flying at altitude waiting for people to come to me. I'm far too impatient for that. So I just go to them. Spitfire will be the first target. The LFR9, the premium one right below me, is, well, right below me. If I dive on that, I will probably rip. I will overshoot, I will compress or whatever. I'm not going to get that shot most likely. So I go for the FR. I didn't expect him to turn into me. I still managed to hit him, so it's all fine. Shot is still off, he's in a spin. Matter of time till he goes down. So I just extend the way again. Just convert that speed into altitude. You don't want to fly at uh, these high speeds in a straight line. It's, it's a waste of energy, really. If you do have the energy, try to go vertical, of course. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't go 9 degrees up and stall out in someone's guns. Especially when you know that half the team isn't spotted yet. Because at this point, I'm still looking for everyone. I've only seen about 4 or 5 people. And the other 7, 6 are nowhere to be found. Of course, except for the B-29s. But those aren't uh, a major threat at the moment. They didn't have three or four, otherwise I would have uh, tried to climb for them. Because uh, three, three B-29s can actually win the game if they are spaded with a 40 bomb payload. Luckily, that wasn't the case. So just a matter of looking for enemies. I'm not going to go too high, because well, if I go high on my own... I can't really dive away to my teammates because I, I will compress, I will rip, or whatever the case might be. It's an up tier, P 51 H's. I don't want to fight those at high speeds. So I'd rather keep it at the medium altitude, let them come to me. I have the turn at, turning advantage for most planes, except for the Spitfires, pretty much. Or at least what they have on their team. So I'm not too worried about that. Most people are. Too impatient to actually boom and zoom you for a prolonged period of time. So I'm not too worried. Of course, this isn't the safest nor the best strategy. But it works for me. Here you can see I had the energy. So I turned after the P47M. It has very good retention. So the energy you do have, it, it remains. I have 800 rounds of MG151. So I'm not too worried about that either. I just hose them a bit. I'm not going to let him run to the base. Because it looked like he was going to straight for the base. He will outrun me in the long run. He's just going to cancel all. I'm not going to let that happen. So there we go. That's the second one dead. Still looking around. There are people above me and I have no idea where they are. Look around. That's one of the, the best tips I can give you for RRB. Don't have your eyes in your pocket. Use them. You have them for a reason. And for some reason everyone really liked... The airfield at this game. Spitfire there, FVF there, later on, way more there. Everyone gravitates around this base. And I get that uh, the safety of AA is comforting, but you know, it's it's lame. It's boring. I don't see the appeal to it. So I see the Spitfire. He's low, he's gonna go to the base. So I'm, you know, it, it, not the best thing to go for. I'd rather go for the FVF. He's Stall climbing pretty much. He's going like 2, 300, uh, 300, 400. Crit him. More hits, more hits. FDF damage model isn't the best. FDF out of the way. Fly back towards the SO8000. Just because, well, he isn't to the base. So I hope he's going to dogfight me. There he comes. I had a lot more energy than him. He pitched up. I only went down. I pitched up in the dogfight, of course, to conserve that energy. And to stall, to stall him out if he tries to follow me. He's so slow that I overlead completely. Crit him. More hits. Lost still control. He's dead. Four down. Still looking for the rest. There's a Spitfire on the base. No idea where the rest is at this point. I see the F4U and across the map. Not a very immediate danger. Team is not doing too well. Only have 8 minutes of fuel left. I only took 20 minutes this game, I regret I did, I wish I took 30, but that's uh, easy to say in hindsight. And this is why I don't like the, the 20 minute fuel load, 
she mostly end up uh, just not carrying enough. You got seven, six, or whatever amount of kills you needed to carry, and then there's that one dude left. It was passive all game, and you run out of fuel, and then you die because of it, which is a shame, a big shame. And again, just regaining that altitude. I know there's a Spitfire on the deck, or on the base, I should say. So I'm just gonna use my climb rate while he's landing. So I have the energy advantage when he comes up. Because the LF9, we all know, on the deck, that thing is a monster in terms of climb rate. So I don't want to let that thing get above me. P51H. I turn better. And I have better retention, but that's about it. And I mean turning retention, of course, because in a straight line, he will absolutely shit on me. Kia H3 is on him. Hoping he was going to make him slow, so I pretend to go away for just a bit further. So he starts a dogfight, and I turn back in. Keep check on that LF9 on the base. Shoot a bit, get a hit, sadly. I think that's a fuel leak. I'm not too sure what that is. And there he goes. Turn 5, instantly goes for his base. That's something a lot of people do lately, and it's, it's really lame. You pretty much killed him. Of course, he could have, in this, in this case, he could have just run anywhere, and he would have run me. But people always run against, like, towards the base. And even when you catch them, you're close to them, you can pretty much kill them, but they're just too far away and they're going too fast because they're diving straight to the deck. In the long run, I could have killed them. Of course, not in this instance. But they always run to the base, and then the moment you get your guns on, or you get in range, you get little by AA. Either your ailerons get shot up, your, your elevator gets shot up. You can't pull with him and he just reverses you or you get killed by A outright. And I think it's so lame. They really need to do something about that. Like if I'm right on a teammate of the enemy AA, then it shouldn't shoot me. But, you know, nothing I can do against that. Good thing I went back because I knew the LF9 was probably going to take off anytime soon. I caught him at pretty much the perfect moment. He's slow, he's at my altitude. There's very little he can do. And even if I didn't... Absolutely shit on him right there. Well, shit on him is a big word when he's going 200. But I didn't. If I didn't uh, have killed him right there, he was going so slow. I could have just looked over. I was still going 500. So not the biggest deal. P51 comes back thinking I was gonna dogfight the LF9. Big mistake on his part. He's damaged. He wants that AA, and I know he wants to. So I'm already turning towards it. But if he tries to, to, to turn away, go for the AA. I'm already on his 6. I'm waiting for him to do it. <laughs> Too bad he did it at the exact moment. I, uh, I didn't want him to do it. So he runs back again. Very engaging gameplay indeed. Hope to get a lucky shot there. Keep looking in case it actually hits. Well, you know, can't have it all. Was a bit ambitious. Not gonna lie, especially for the second game in this thing. I'm still not... Like, MG151s are a bit weird to me still. Especially when I haven't used them in a long time. But I have 800 of them, 3 guns. And the P51 comes back again. Like he only comes back when you turn your ass towards him. Just sitting in that base. He kills the Ki-83. And something I notice with people. Whenever people kill anyone in the head-on. They get a bit cocky. He did too. And it cost him his life. He, he tried to come to me and he realized he wouldn't get me. And he turned around, but he turned around right in my gun side. You know, that's not the best uh, cause of action. And now this is what I mean. I'm on two minutes of fuel, and this F4U is so damn passive. Like, I don't know what he was doing. Extending like four or five kilometers away. He could have easily killed me here. He could just go straight up. He's going like 700 or 600 in that dive. I'm only going 450, 480. He could have just gone up, energy trapped me, but no. Look at this. I don't even see the, the point of playing like this. The longer he waits killing me, the, the smaller his advantage becomes. Because he has limited web, my teammates are coming in, he's the last alive. And when you're last alive, you want to make sure that the people die. Especially if you know that, like someone like me, I have 7 kills right now. You want to make sure that that person dies, because more than, more than often... Someone with 7 kills will be competent. And he, 
you know, if, if I have 7 kills, I'm probably low on ammo. Maybe low on fuel, maybe I'm damaged, because I've been in a lot of fights. But for some reason, this dude just doesn't want to engage me. I don't know what his deal was. Or is at this point. Let's look at this. Like, why wouldn't he engage me? He has such an easy time killing me. But no, he does this very slow dive, trying to get on my 6. And I just loop under him. Like, and it's all fun and handy, but... You know... And then he breaks off and he just flies away again. I was really hoping for him to dogfight me. At this point, I'm 40 seconds of fuel left. He doesn't know that, of course. Ambitious shot number two. Sadly missed, probably just under lap, but it doesn't matter. I have 30 seconds of fuel left, so I try to run away from him as quickly as possible. Initially, I thought I only had to deal with a P51H because the F4U was at altitude. And most people that are at altitude all game without doing anything will remain there. So I didn't think that he would like come back for me. Sadly he did. And it's pretty much what got me killed. Because I only have 10 seconds of fuel left. I'm trying to not web to like prolong the, the time I can be airborne. But it's no use. And I run out. And there goes my engine. And at this point we're a glider. Uh, just a new slice. I'm not making the base. <laughs> I'm, uh, I miscalculated that one. So it's a bit sad. He... Uh, Proceeded to camp the base for about uh, another seven minutes, I think. He reversed one of the, the K4s. He sits on the base. And in the end, he got killed by the, I think, another 109. I'm not too sure. It doesn't really matter. He just sat on the base. Because he, he's so damn passive. And like this is the kind of gameplay that I'm not a fan of. And it's also exactly why I don't like those kind of planes for a video. Because I don't want to showcase me running around... For 20 minutes. Flying in straight lines. Which is exactly why I dislike a video on the Hunter. I, I, I do have the footage still. So don't worry about that. I said I wasn't going to fly the 9.0's anymore. And the 10.0's. But I do still have the footage on the Hunter. MiG-19 and some other stuff. So that's coming. Next one will be the, the Meteor Mark 3. I just got a pretty good game in that one as well. As per request. And FOU 4B. And the Hunter, that's uh, on the menu right now. I think I also have a LA9 game at the moment. But that's for the future. That's probably like two weeks away. But expect to meet you Mark 3 this, uh, this weekend. And I'll see you then.